Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What to do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Now and today, we're playing, uh, we're talking about Blackout, and uh, I, I, well, there's a big problem guys, and I think the biggest problem stems from how slow the gameplay has become. Now Blackout was one of the most fun battle royales I've played, and I've played most of the big uh, name battle royales. Uh, there's some that are just on PC that I haven't played because I don't have a high-end PC, but I've heard that they're really good. Anyways, that's not part of the topic, but today we're talking about it's just it, the gameplay has has gone down, and I don't know if it's new game freshness that was that was checking me out or what, but it seems almost as if it's taken on this campy aspect now there's three big issues that i think that are contributing to that so sit back relax and here's here's what we're going to talk about now the first thing is the merit system now the merit system if you guys haven't played the game is a system in which every time you get a kill a top placement or a challenge completed you get a certain number of merits and those merits contribute to your overall rank which tells people what rank you are inside of the game now this sounds good in theory but because of it giving you more experience towards your, your rank in top placements it tells people that they should camp it makes people want to play a little bit campier especially in situations in which you know you're in a squads game or you're in a duos game and your teammate dies and the thing that you're thinking about is yeah at least i can get a top spot and we both can get a bunch of merits now i'm not sure that everybody thinks like that but i do think that there is a big possibility that that could be adding on to how slow the gameplay is because people are trying to get to that top spot now obviously people are going to get to that top spot Spot, but would you rather work for that top spot by killing people or would you rather camp until you're in that top spot and then you have nothing to worry about so that's a big issue for me I feel like the merit system should be scrapped or at least the placement should be scrapped unless you're in the top you know the first or the second spot now that still uh, provides camping but it takes a lot more effort to get to that second place spot and that first place spot than it does to just get to the top 10 or the top 5 so that being said that's what I think should be happening with the merit system scrap that part and we'll be fine now next up we have the black market now the black market supply stream battle pass whatever you guys want to call it is a new system kinda like like I said the battle pass in Fortnite where you get cosmetics and gear through playing blackout and multiplayer now this only rewards you with experience towards your blackout meter if and only if you you play you spend a lot of time in game now this sounds good in theory but one you get no experience from spectating two you get no experience from kills or anything else so because it only comes from playtime in game it provides an aspect to the game where you have to kinda just camp now I don't think that that's something that everybody does but I do think that because it's becoming crunch time and because it is so late into the supply stream we've only got a little over 11 days to complete the supply stream to get to tier 200 to get Hudson and the blinding glory ICR which could potentially never show their faces again inside of Call of Duty which would be the smart move by Treyarch you know because if it's an item that you can get at some other point in time why not just wait for it but that's a different topic for a different video either way guys basically what I'm saying here is the idea that you could just camp instead of having to actually play through the match and as long as you're able to sit in a corner and stay alive for a reasonable amount of time you're able to get a lot of XP towards your bar because that's a lot of time in game now it seems like it moves up faster in time you're just wasting your actual time by just sitting there but to each his own if that's something that you want to do that's something you want to do but once again this is a thing that's contributing to the slow paced nature of blackout the last but not least thing that is contributing to this is all of the unlockable characters this system should be completely wiped instead they should add challenges in order to make it more difficult but it should only be those challenges you shouldn't have to get a top spot inside of the game to unlock those challenges because what happens is this is that they hold on to these items and they camp 
They can't, they can't, they can't. And like I said, guys, I'm just as guilty of this because it is the easier option. Obviously, you always want the easy option because it's a lot better than getting frustrated at the game. Things happen. Sometimes the game glitches out. Sometimes gunfights don't go the way you want them to. Things happen. And if there's an easier way for you to get a top tier skin rather than actually going out and killing things, that's an issue. And that's a problem because that provides a lot of people to camp. Say there's nine character pieces that require you to get a top spot. All nine of those items are picked up. That's 10% of your lobbyings in a solo match. 10%. Not to mention if you're in a squads or a duos match where you're playing with your friend, but you and that friend are also camping. So you have to think about the whole ecosystem of a simple battle royale lobby. You know what I'm saying? And you have to think about the fact that these people are all spending most of their time camping based on the way the game is set up. All I'm saying, guys, is Treyarch has to do something to fix this because the game is super slow and... And honestly, half the time it feels like a waste of time because you could run around the map for a very long time and not even see anybody based on the fact that a lot of the map is camping. Now, like I said, the reason why I say that is because I bring up that point and I also want to tell people that the fact that it could potentially be the community. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think it's the community or do you guys think Treyarch could do more to potentially make the game more fun, more fast-paced and give us that real Treyarch feel that we've gotten? Because generally, in most multiplayer Treyarch games, because Blackout just came to this game, uh, in multiplayer Treyarch games, you expect a fast-paced, balls-to-the-wall type of action, and I don't feel like Blackout is truly representing that. So, like I said, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, as well as clicking that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single upload that I do. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.